name is Barbie Wong and I am here to teach you how to tune your ukulele. First thing you need to know are the names of the strings. They are G, C, E, A. And that's something that is good to remember and to memorize because it is important to tune your ukulele before you play this instrument every time. This instrument is lovely and often goes out of tune and it sounds so much better when it's in tune. So make sure to keep tuning your ukulele. G, C, E, A. There are two ways to tune your ukulele. One is to tune it to a certain pitch that you hear. For example, I can tune this instrument to the piano. I can find the G on the piano and see if my G matches that. And if it doesn't, then I start turning the tuning pegs to match it. For example, if I listen and I start to turn, and it is very, very important to make sure that you're tuning, you're turning the tuning peg that is corresponding to the string that you're trying to tune. I've had a lot of students that start touching other pegs and are wondering why there's no change in the sound of the string. So keep plucking your string tuners that you can download that also give you the sound of each stream. For instance, this is Tuner Plus that I downloaded. It's a free app. When I click on ukulele, and you can hear the G. So I have to use my ear very carefully to tune this. Another way to tune your ukulele is with a tuner that will tell you if you're on pitch or not. And this is a very accurate way to tune your ukulele. There are two types of tuners. There are the types that is specific for ukulele, so it will only have the G, C, E, A uh, indicators on here. Or there's this kind, which is a chromatic tuner. And this type of tuner can be used for all types of instruments in the Western world. Um, so this is also very important to know the letter names because I could be trying to tune and this could give, this could tell me that, oh, right now it says G sharp and this string is not G sharp. I want to go back to G. And this is where this comes in. To use a chromatic tuner, you have to know the pitches that go from A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And this is low and this is high. So if you're tuning this to G and your tuner says A, and by the way, after G becomes A and it cycles up. If I see A on here, I know I've gone too high. So I need the pitch to go down back to the G. And so I look at where the pin is and it will tell me exactly where to tune. And, uh, and again, I need to use my ears. So if I mess this up, right now this is saying B. And I know this, this next string is C, and so if I'm down here, I need to go up to C. And so I'm tuning the tuning peg that corresponds to the string, and looking and seeing if I can match exactly to the middle this indicator what it says and now I'm on C. Another thing to keep in mind is that it is helpful to know also the half steps. So this is what it means by a chromatic tuning, meaning it uses the 12 different notes in the Western scale. So after A, the next note up is either called A sharp or B flat. And so if I'm trying to tune to A, but this lights up with A sharp or B flat, I know I've gone too high and I need to tune it back down to A. So for instance, this right now is lighting up with A sharp and I know this is not the right pitch. I need to go back down and I need to use my ear to listen. Ah, oh, it's coming down.
So that's how to tune an ukulele. Thanks for watching.